uh, Bobby. Luke, hi. What are you doing here this time of night? Oh, I got, I got to talk to you. How'd you get here on your snowshoes? No, I didn't need them. The uh, road between the disco and here is open. I caught a cab. What about the rest of the city? Well, the cab driver said it's still pretty grim. Only a few roads in the inner city are open. Oh, you're all going crazy You're worrying about Monica Quartermain. Yeah. So, what do you want to talk to me about? Um, uh, my, my meeting with Mr. Smith. Apparently, the hospital is looking into disco operations, and the investigation's being done none other than by good old Dan Rooney. I know. Dan told me. He told you you didn't tell me. Don't take this so casually. Mr. Smith is very upset. Look, don't you tell me that Mr. Smith is very upset. Luke, there are a lot of people in this town right now who are in an awful lot of trouble. Monica Quartermain happens to be stranded someplace. Don't you tell me that Mr. Smith is very upset. Just lay off, okay? Bobby, I'll be in the uh, cafeteria. When you come to your senses, you take a break and come and talk to me. What are you to talking you. about take a break? Can't you understand we have an emergency situation? Look, if you want to talk to me, talk to me here, okay? Bobby, have you heard from Lieutenant Stoddard? Uh, no, uh, not yet. You want me to call the station? Yes, please, please. I uh, know he's going to get tired of hearing from me, but it's bloody important. Hi, Lieutenant Stoddard, please. Dr. Rick Weber from General Hospital. Lieutenant Stoddard speaking. Ah, uh, this is Dr. Weber. Yes, Doctor. I was about to call you to tell you to stand by. I had a call about the snow plows. They're about to break through out there near the Quartermain residence. Oh, oh, praise the Lord. I can't let you send an ambulance out yet, though. I'll have to wait until I get the okay. Well, how soon do you think that'll be? Hold on a minute. The other phone is ringing. Yeah, all right. Stoddard here. Thanks, Sergeant. Thanks. Great. Doctor? Yes, 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 Lieutenant. There, uh, well, that's the report we've been waiting for. You've got the all clear sign. Fantastic. They haven't broken through to the entrance of the Quartermain estate, but they will have by the time the ambulance gets there. Thank you. We're on our way. Can we call for an ambulance? Immediately. I will get emergency. All right. Uh, tell them that uh, Dr. Quartermain and I will be going along. And now, John, what do we need? Anything special that we should take? Yeah, well, uh, tell them to make certain to bring a portable incubator unit for the baby and uh, equipment for an emergency section in case I have to perform it at the house if Monica hasn't delivered yet. And I gave all that information to him earlier so that everything be ready, but I'd like for you to double check. I've got it. Alan, we're all set to go. Well, what are we waiting for? Nothing. Let's do it. Bobby, please, call Tracy's apartment and tell my family the news, will you? Emergency high. This is Miss Spencer, main floor. You have an ambulance on stand. <sighs> Daddy, what are you doing? Trying monitors again. Oh, the line's still dead. I don't understand it. It's the most elegant part of the city, and every time we have a storm, that gets hit the hardest. I don't know why Alan wants to live there. <sighs> what are you stabbing now with those darts? Who or whatever is keeping Mitch away? Well, surely you don't think it's another woman. Or do you think your brother's right that Mitch is involved in dirty politics? Oh, hush! You've upset me enough for one night. How have I upset you? Oh, please, Daddy. You know perfectly well how you've upset me. By accusing me of only wanting Monica's baby to live so I can prove that it's not Alan's son. Well, I've been terribly upset and under a bad strain. I have been under a bad strain. We both have, and I don't need to feel like I've been slapped. Well, I'd like to apologize for that. But, uh, I'd also like to thank you for the nice things you said to Alan on the phone. I do have my moments, don't I? However rare they may be. But very welcome, Tracy. Oh, Mitch! Mitch! Tracy, no, it's Bobby. Spencer at the hospital. Oh, Bobby, I'm sorry. Hi. What, uh, what is it? What's going on? Tell me. Well, your brother asked me to call. The road is all clear to his house, and he and Rick Weber are on their way. They're going out there by ambulance, and Dr. Priest is going with them. Oh, Bobby, that's wonderful. Daddy, the ambulance is on its way. Uh -oh. Thank you so much for calling us. Will you keep us posted? Oh, wait. Wait, maybe you think we... Should we come right to the hospital right now? Uh, no. Well, listen, why don't I call you when they arrive? Because it is possible that Dr. Priest might have to take the baby by section out of the house. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, then call us. And we'll be waiting for your call. Thanks, Bobby. Daddy, we gotta concentrate that they make it there in time, okay? Because I don't want anything to happen to Monica or a baby. Not like this. I know you don't, Tracy. 
They'll be safe soon, when help arrives. Daddy, I wish I just knew that Mitch was safe. I'm going to remember that kiss for the rest of the night. <laughs> what there is uh, left of it. Oh, Not much. I wish you didn't have to go. Well, the snow plows are opening the roads. I just heard it on the radio. Gotta go. I know. Stay too much longer, Tracy. I'll never believe your story. <laughs> no way. What is your story going to be? My story is that you and I spent the entire blizzard wrapped up in each other's arms. <laughs> <laughs>